Wow, that lighting is terrible. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I made a big, big mistake in not recording the video at the very beginning of this project. That lighting is still terrible, my goodness. I am here. <laughs> you can just barely see me. But that being said, um, I'm going to show you what I've done thus far. And then go from there. So you guys can see where I go from what I've started on. Which is to say, I started on building this. It's a wooden plywood shield. I got the idea to do it from a guy named Eli. He does the ZNA Productions videos on YouTube. And he did like this weird shield made with a polypropylene buckler. It's actually pretty cool. You should check it out. But his design is much, much different from mine. His is intended to actually punch people with the shield. Mine is obviously for LARPing because we're the LARP channel. So, yeah, I'm showing you how I took that concept and changed it over to a LARP-based concept. The LARP is a more localized game in Indiana and Michigan. It's called Shifted Lands. So, we'll go from there. All right, so what we've got here is the basic outline. This was originally traced from an old packaging box. It was that. The little half circle sex. I didn't I didn't add those in. I thought it was kind of silly. And I wasn't going to go with this design just because there's certain concepts that you can't allow in a game unless you affect certain people or because it goes against the rules and some people could argue it. I'm just going to go with it because I like to play the game and I don't want a reason to get kicked out. So up to this point, what we've done is I've cut it out, all the edges. I used sandpaper to sand down both the front and the back. On the back, I have two pieces of wood that is raised up just a little bit to make a handle. I've got two holes already pre-drilled so that all the screws can go into it. Now what I need to do is either do a second coat of primer or get ready to paint this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to paint it, we're going to put some interesting looking design on it. And then the last thing i got to do is other than paint the back of it as well, is I also have to put pipe foam around all these edges. And that's for safety reasons, so that if somebody's weapon tries to hit it, it doesn't damage their weapon. Okay, so I ran to the store, got some paint, and originally what I did was I just put primer on there, and that wasn't what I was planning on doing. So what I'm going to do is I went back, took the paint, I sprayed it over the shield, I got a nice good coat on there. As soon as this is done drying, we're going to flip it over and do the back as well. The edges I'm not as worried about simply because there's going to be pipe foam put over them to make it legal and safe. So as soon as this dries, we'll get back to it. All right, so we're back to it. The front has dried enough that I could flip it over. We're going to go ahead and paint this back side of it. And yeah, just keep moving on from step to step. Because I didn't have primer on this prior to painting it, I put a thicker coat on, which means this is going to take a little bit longer to dry. So, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I ran to the store, got some paint, and originally what I did was I just put primer on there, and that wasn't what I was planning on doing. 
So what I'm going to do is I went back, took the paint, I sprayed it over the shield. I got a nice good coat on there. As soon as this is done drying, we're going to flip it over and do the back as well. The edges I'm not as worried about simply because there's going to be pipe foam put over them to make it legal and safe. So as soon as this dries, we'll get back to it. All right, so we're back to it. The front has dried enough that I could flip it over. We're going to go ahead and paint this back side of it. And yeah, just keep moving on from step to step. Because I didn't have primer on this prior to painting it, I put a thicker coat on, which means this is going to take a little bit longer to dry. So, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. So, this is done and cut out. Time to paint. I should move some of this stuff so it doesn't get paint on it. Come on, Kent, be smarter. Kind of see it. I got the red circle here painted. Put an extra thick coat on there so that I only had to do this once. And I'm still seeing a few. But the way I did, I started in the middle and I just kind of did circles on the way out. And I did a little bit closer up so that it didn't spread everywhere. That so you guys can see it. I am getting so close to the end of this thing and I'm really excited for it. Yes! Alright, so we've let the red paint dry for a while. Went ahead and took that cut out, put it back on here like I said I would. All I'm going to do is apply a quick coat of white paint so that it covers all this excessive red up. Oops. Hope that didn't just mess up everything. Still. 